so excited to finally spend time with you. Yeah, so why did you want me to meet you at the park? Oh, because it's a nice day. Taking me out to a park on the first date is crazy. So what is this exactly? This is mini golf. Oh no, I suck at that. We can't do that. It's giving pet owner. Ah, oh, you girls just don't understand. You guys don't know where to take a guy like me out. You had all week while I ghosted you to think of something. This place looks kind of run down, don't you think? Look at like the pond water and shit. Ugh. What is this? Like we're in the ghetto right now and it's cold outside. So people come here for fun and stuff? Yeah, we're gonna have so much fun, I promise. The park on the first date? Be fucking for real. Let's just try it and see how you feel. Like mini golf for the first date is crazy. I put on all this and you took me to this graveyard, dog shit, wasteland, landfill. I feel like you're just gonna beat me and it's like not even gonna be fair. Because a guy like me, like I know my worth. I'm a high value male and I know women like you sometimes can be intimidated by that. To be honest, can you even handle me? Ew. Look at this dirty ass water. What is it? That's like the algae for the fish. It's giving Loch Ness Monster. If you want to be with me, you need to invest in me. Lock your elbows, eyes on the ball, you got it. <sighs> Fuck. Yeah, so let's take a seat. We can just talk. Oh, honey, I'm not sitting on this. Did you bring like a blanket or anything? Bend the knees. Can I go again? If you're intimidated by me, let me know. I'm not. So what do you even like about me? I think you're very attractive. I'm super into light-skinned guys. Wait, wait, wait. Are you are you fetishizing black men? No, of course not. I'm not your like sexual no, fantasy yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't appreciate being fetishized. I did not mean it like that. You're with me only because I'm light-skinned? No, 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 no. I don't know if it's because I'm an independent man that makes money intimidates you. No, it doesn't. I love that for you. Who are you texting? One of my friends. Like a female friend? Yeah, one of my female friends. I have a lot of them. You have a lot of female friends? Yeah, is there a problem with that? Oh, no. If you're the type of girl who gets insecure that I have a bunch of female friends, that's a red flag. It just seems like you're insecure that I make money. No, I'm not. Yeah, I have a lot of female friends. I mean, I can show you who like I'm talking how, like to. How, how many is a lot? I mean, I only talk to girls. Guys are so much drama. Oh, football and shit. Just being around women, it's just less drama. As a guy like me, like I have standards and I don't know if you can meet those. All my exes have been athletic. When's the last time you ran a mile? A mile? I don't really work. Oh shit, you don't even work out. If you have a problem with me hanging out with a bunch of girls and stuff, that's a you problem because I think it just shows your level of like insecurity that you can't handle a guy like me. Even though half these girls want to have sex with me, I say no, so it's just like these are all friendships. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Just friends. I only fuck with athletes, singers, celebrities. Like you gotta have some motion. How many followers do you have? I'm like 92k. You can't even break 100k? <laughs> you fucking for real. The amount of girls that have over 100k that hit me up on the daily, they would not be taking me to no fucking dog park. Why do you want to know who I'm talking to so bad? I I'm just curious. I mean, she's a good friend of mine. That's her thing. Oh, you have you have very attractive female friends. Yeah, I mean, she looks good, but it's completely platonic. Is she one of the ones that tried to sleep with you before, but you said no? But yeah, but that was years ago. That was years ago. So it's like completely a friend thing now. Do you guys ever hang out one-on-one -on -one alone? All the time. Oh, okay. Yeah, all the time. I don't have to be here right now. So then leave. <laughs> Did you just say that? I mean, I'm not forcing you to be here with me right now. Be fucking bro. You did not just tell me to leave. Oh my God, you want me to go? It doesn't seem like you're enjoying like Oh my God, this is going on TikTok. What's up guys? So I'm on a date with this girl and she took me to a dog park. That's her. Don't act shy now. You stop. Stop. Women are so immature for thinking that men and women can't be friends and hang out. I can hang out with whoever I want. Broke bitch took me to a dog park on the first date. That's her right there. Look, my ex was extremely controlling in the past. Oh, I'm sorry. She wouldn't let me go to orgies or do anything, and it's like, I just don't want a repeat of history. Okay, look, let's just calm down. Let's go back to the house. I'm not trying to fight with you. Like, I just wanted to enjoy our day, get to know you. So, what are you looking for in a partner? I mean, I'm really just looking for a girl who knows how to handle me. I'm looking for a girl who makes money and I'm not even looking for that much like half a million a year that's a lot of money I mean not really it's like I mean to be honest I don't get out of bed for less than 750k but that's neither here nor there so how much do you make I really just don't you know usually feel comfortable it's giving food stamps just so you know we're not doing anything tonight oh, of course not like I'm just trying to show you my place and we're just gonna have a good time okay so this is my place okay my bad. whoa what is all this I just did my Christmas tree I gotta take that out later but it's giving landfill <laughs> Skiving dumpster. You didn't want to clean up your place before I came by? I thought this was going to be something special. Sorry. 
What the hell is this? Oh, that's from this morning. It's a giving science project. Would you give me access to your bank account when we started dating? Oh, I mean, we could definitely talk about it. I had the most insecure girlfriend who wouldn't give me her debit card. Her money is my money. All the money I make, I keep, and it's for me. And all the money that, you know, my girl would make, it's ours. Wait, what? what is your watch history? The Great British Bake Off? Oh, that? I just watched that at night, like. I'm adding that to my ick list. When she watches baking shows. What do you like to watch? Not baking shows? Yeah, I mean, I would never succumb to a woman's expectations. Cause like my ex was trying to like police my body and shit. I would be going out in public with my dick out. I had like these gray sweatpants. There'd be a hole and I would, like, my dick would just hang out. And my girlfriend was so insecure. She was like, don't, you can't wear that out. And I was like, whoa, you don't control me. What else is in your watch history? What? Does that say iCarly? Yes, I used to watch that all the time. Guys, she watches iCarly. I'll do a lot of stuff on Instagram where it'll be like my dick and like you'll see the full dick imprint and everything. Like my ex was so insecure. She'd be like, take that down. Please don't post that. And it's like, I post it for me. Right. I want to post myself looking handsome, looking swole, dick out. I do it for me. If you do it for you, then why not just like keep the photos in your camera roll and like look at them whenever you want. You're, you're not getting it because Instagram is more of an outlet. It's creative. It's like a diary almost of my life journey and stuff. And what was your sign again? Oh, I'm a cancer. A cancer. <laughs> I fucking knew it. I knew it. That makes perfect sense. Bro, my ex was a cancer and you guys could never make up your mind. I mean, do you believe in the whole gender roles thing? Yeah, I mean, there's some things that I, I think that men should do, like change, change a tire, for example. You think men should be changing tires? Yeah, I feel like they should know how to do that. That's giving loose pussy energy. Oh, it's getting cold out here. Getting really cold out here. Do you wanna go in the room? I have blankets in there. Okay, but we're not having sex. I wasn't trying to. I just like, I have a TV, there's blankets, so it'll be comfortable. Okay, but we're not doing anything. I don't usually do this. I hate this. You got it. Oh my God. Uh... You're getting better. Okay, can we, can I start over? You got it. There you go. Hold on. Oh, um. <sighs> I'm done with this. You still live with roommates? Yeah. Thought you said you were an independent woman. Grown ass woman living with roommates. This is why I didn't want to do this because it's like I don't know what I'm doing and this is stupid. Right. It's like you already won. Like, so just make yourself comfortable. Um, you gonna come a little closer? Or? I mean, I would, but I feel like you're gonna try something. Okay, can you just let me win because you're like, this is stupid. I actually have a surprise. I have something else planned. It's very special. Okay. We go there right now. Anything's better than this, so let's go. All right, let's go. I don't know what type of guy you think I am, but I'm not easy. I didn't think you were. I, I don't know. I just don't want to be all booed up and cuddled with you because you're like a stranger. I don't even know you like that. Well, isn't that the point of us hanging out so we can get to know each other? Literally, everyone's strangers until they meet. So we're at Chili's. I never thought I'd stoop this low. I love chilies. They have a lot of good stuff here. Yeah, for homeless people. This is like the soup kitchen of chain restaurants. I mean, what do you even like about me? Um, I like your hair. I like your eyes. My hair and my eyes. So I'm just a pretty face to you? It's all about looks? No, it's a compliment. I'm I feel like you've said that to every guy. For a first date, Chili's is kind of fucking crazy. What I'm getting is that you just want to have sex with me. You're the only one talking about sex. Like, you've been bringing up sex this whole entire time. I'm not even on that. Uh, it's the gaslighting for me. See this bottle? Uh, oh. I gotta call my homeboy. Bro, you will not believe where I am right now. What happened? This girl I'm with right now took me to Chili's. Chili's? Be fucking for real. I'm right here. On the first date, too. How's your food? Is it supposed to be cold? So how did you even like find my Instagram? Um, explore page. Like I was just scrolling and I, I thought you were cute. Okay. Yeah, because I don't even be like on Instagram like that. So why'd you answer my DM? I don't know. I saw you had a couple of my mutuals. I looked at your profile and I was like, oh, but she seems cool. She don't seem crazy. You DM me on Instagram. I'm assuming you just want to like have sex or something with me. Oh, no, no. I like I like your personality. You know how many times I hear that? Yeah, but I don't usually like fall in love that fast. So would you love me if I was a worm? I mean, I wouldn't be able to talk to you if you were a worm. Wow. I'm still the worm though. Does it mean you can't still fall in love? Have you ever seen Princess and the Frog? Yeah. Have you seen the B movie? But what about my personality? You're, you're funny, you're outgoing. I am pretty funny. Literally all my friends in my friend group say I'm the funniest. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, I'm just checking. <laughs> wow. You cancers are unbelievable.
Did I do something? No. So like, what do you bring to the table? <laughs> no, you did not just ask that. What do I bring to the table? Are you serious? Yeah. You invited me to the table. Um, what the hell is this? A piece of hair? Yeah, whose is this? It looks like yours. I don't know, this one's like super thin and dark, dark, dark brown. That's literally your hair. Whatever, I know you got hoes. What do I bring to the table? Do you see this? I bring my looks, I bring a vibe, I bring like an energy. If we dated, would you have another boyfriend if I wasn't born? Wait, how would we date if you weren't born? I mean, if you weren't born, then automatically, like, you wouldn't exist, so... So... I would have another boyfriend. What? I'm bringing knowledge, I'm bringing wisdom. I'm funny, I make jokes. I'm that type of person where I will elevate the person I'm with. That's what I bring to the table, if you have to know. All right, but if I was a caterpillar, would you love me? What's your sign? Pisces. Makes complete fucking sense. I could tell you were Pisces, because of like, you didn't even finish your food. My ex was a Pisces, never finished her fucking plate. All right, but if I was a paper clip, would you still love me? Hold on, I gotta take a boomerang. Scoot back a little bit. You gonna get me in the- No, don't, here, back up, back up. Oh. And be fucking for real. It's just the food. If I was a bar of soap, would you still love me? What are you talking about? No, no, like if I magically transformed into a bar of soap, would you still have feelings for me? Oh, the bill. Mm -hmm. I, I got it. You know what? Don't worry. I'll get it. Oh, really? I'll get it. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, no problem.